All right, mind focus. Okay, this is a test of the um, HLG2 picture profile. It's PP10 in the menus. Uh, color mode is the BT2020 um, color gamut. I'm testing the dynamic range of the HLG2 and also seeing if it'll look good with a LUT. Um, so let's switch it to Rec 709 right now. Okay. Oh, I have it set to daytime uh, white balance and I'll do the same when I compare it to the S-Log2. Okay, let's apply a creative LUT. This is a LUT that I would typically use for my wedding films where I'm gonna push the highlights, let's push the highlights all the way to 100%. And then 60, and then 30, and then zero. No, minus 30%. Minus 60%, and then all the way down. And then let's set it back to zero. And let's try the same with the shadows. Let's push the shadows plus 100. And then 60. And then 30. And 100. And there's people driving by coming home from work. Let's try minus 30. And then minus 60. And then minus 100. And back to zero. Cool. I, pay, I purposely picked a really backlit situation. Um, I have the overall um, evaluative metering to, I think, a whole stop, one whole stop above. Um, again, daylight, whoa. Daylight white balance, shooting 4K, um, most likely downscaled to 1080. Okay, this is the same test. Now we're testing S-Log2. Um, this isn't factory default S-Log2. This is the EOS HD S log to match like C log or whatever. And we're comparing the dynamic range um, of Sony's new HDR picture profile and your, your standard um, S log to flat profile. So uh, real quick, we're just gonna push the highlights all the way up 100% and 60 and then 30, and then 100 or back to zero, excuse me. Let's just go down 30, 60 and then 100, and then back to zero, highlights back to zero, and let's try shadows all the way up, and then bringing them down, 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 back to zero. Let's bring them all the way down to 100, and then bringing them back up, bringing them back up, bringing them back up, bringing them back to zero, all right. Okay, I'm testing the HLG2 profile because I saw a couple people say that it's like way easier to grade, like, uh, I don't remember whose video it is. If I do, I'll, I'll link the information down below. He was saying that the HLG picture profile is like, it's like editing a raw photo. And I'm trying to see if that's true. And if that's true, I'm gonna be using HLG all the time. And if I'm using it all the time, I'm probably gonna have to buy another A7 III. Um, unless the A7 R3 has it as well, then I'll probably buy that. But anyways, hope you liked my test. Um, peace out. <laughs> All right, this is the, my third time recording this because I have the touch screen on on the A7 III and I keep touching it when I flip the camera around and it keeps focusing on the wall behind. Anyways, hopefully this is a good take. Uh, anyways, in conclusion, I just watched back everything that I just edited and I really like the flexibility that HLG2 gives you. Um, it's pretty similar to S-Log, like in the minus 30 plus 30 range, but when you like really have to push things, like plus 100 minus 100 not that you should ever use that like you should be shooting your footage correctly in camera so you don't have to pull your hair out and post but in in the case that you do need it it's good to know that hlg can get you there unlike s log 2 if you push it past i would say plus or minus 50 it really starts to fall apart so in conclusion um I, I'm really surprised by HLG2, this being the first time I've ever used it. I will need to make some custom LUTs that work with HLG2, and then probably have to make some S-Log2 LUTs so that they can match up easier. But regardless, um, HLG2 is great. I love how it's a little more true to life. A little less cinematic, but I think that's the point because it's, you know, HLG is made for HDR. Um, but I kind of like that true to life, and I feel like if you can tweak the colors to make it more cinematic, um, 
that should be cool. So hopefully this video was helpful. Hopefully you can, you know, this may or may not persuade you to use HLG2 and you can use HLG2 to make some cool stuff. So uh, thanks for watching. Uh, let me know if you liked it. Bye.